what's going on guys how are we today all right so this is the next day and we are on our way out to the scrapyard yesterday uh it rained pretty much all day so i just sat at home and did some things at home and that was it so yeah we're on our way to the scrapyard and we will <clears throat> we'll pick it up then look at all the crap i got Can y'all see all the stuff? I mean, it's, I even got stuff in here, see? A door and a pot, but yeah. Uh, we're on our way over to the scrap yard. Holla, 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 holla. All right, peace. What's up, guys, what's up? So we're here, we are at the scrap yard. I got my dumpster. The reason why the dumpster says 955 on it is because that's how much it weighs. That dumpster weighs 955 pounds and when I put all of my weight into it what they do is they subtract that number from how much it weighs and then that's what you get as far as your um, your weight on your vehicle or uh, I'm sorry as weight weight on your uh, on what you brought so this is what I got all the garbage that we got all right I'm gonna go ahead and unload it so uh yeah any y'all want to help give me a thumbs up if you would help me unload all of this yeah yeah give me a thumbs up guys if y'all would help me unload all of this here this wheelchair and these parts and these pans and stuff i'm thinking that maybe this stuff's aluminum right, there's this flashlight here that's definitely an aluminum flashlight. That was a nice, nice flashlight at one time. Too bad. It don't work because it's in the bag. If it wasn't in the bag, then it would work, but it, it don't work because it's in the bag, so it, it don't work. Wow, that bitch right there is heavy. I can have that in my bitch. All right, guys. So he got our stuff, and he's gonna take it to the to the thing, and I'm gonna see if I can't take this stuff over there with us. So here we go. so far, we weighed our aluminum, and the truck's coming to get the thing, but he can't fit, so they gotta raise the trailer up. But we're gonna weigh out our steel real fast. See how much our steel weighs. Let's see, here. I say it weighs, I don't know, a pretty good amount. A little off there buddy Pretty good amount of steel 500 pounds that's not bad guys for like one day's worth of work that ain't bad all right y'all so i'm on my way after this to go get the television and then i'll holler back at y'all check it out guys they're crushing cars taking old cars and then they're they're putting them in that that dumpster i want to see them pick this one up and shove it in there because that would be That'd be pretty cool. I want to see him. Oh! oh! I hope I caught that. That was awesome. Did y'all see that? That shit was so cool. I want to see him pick the car up. Alright, so we're all done guys and we're paid out. We made $48 off of that. That's not bad for one day's worth of work. 48 bucks. 
Yeah, I'm happy with it because all I had to do was ride through the neighborhood one time and then a buddy called me the other day, or called me that day and was like, hey, I got a little for you. So I got all of that in one day. I did all of it yesterday. Well, no, the day before because yesterday it rained and I couldn't come to the scrapyard. So today I could, I came because it's a beautiful day. So anyway, we're done with that. We made our money. Um, we got, we may have to stop and get a little gas, but, um, anyway, we're on our way right now to go get that television, uh, that big TV from that man, Ronnie. So I'll give you guys a further update once I get a little further down the road. All right, guys. See ya. All right. We are almost to this guy's house. He lives way out here, a little further than what I thought he did, but first we need to do something very very important before we get there definition LCD LED panel that's what we need because those things are like 5,000 lumens which is pretty bright um, but I also am buying a professional studio light that's super duper bright and we're going to use that as our main um, light camera or our main light for our camera uh, oh, look there's knife works if you ain't never been to knife works man you don't know what you're missing it's pretty awesome up here in these mountains going across the bridge all right so according to the gps we have eight minutes before we are there we're coming up on our turn to make a right and it is nothing but hill country no but hill country all right i'll turn right on tennessee west or whatever it's kind of pretty out here though where I live at in Tennessee so I'm used to seeing this kind of stuff turn right onto Tennessee 139 West all right all right I'll turn right see so there's a church all right so I gotta make a right make a right oh fire department that's kind of cool check this out it's like a stop sign that's a big stop sign right there oh dang going prettiness nice little pond that looked like a guy I'm not sure so it's taking me way on out here I'm getting closer all right so we are here at my buddy's house. Well, we gotta go way on out here in the bush. Out in the bush. All right, so there's my boy's house. Check that thing out. Ooh, look at tractor. That's cool. But look at that slide over there. I've been in that before. It's actually quite fun. That's the wilderness um, water park deal over there. It's a cool little tractor. Look, there's the TV. I can't wait to take it home and take it apart. And it looks like they built something else way back in there. You see there's like some other slide or something back over there. God, my windows are dirty. But yeah, we are, can you see the mountain? We are on our way home. Because uh, I'm ready to go home. I'm tired getting tired 
Alright. Peace. Alright guys, so we have arrived home. Let's go ahead and unpack that. Um, but first, I'm going to let the dog and the rabbit out and we'll get to it. Alright, so I just got home and then I was like, I'm going to use a bathroom, get something to eat, blah, 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 nope. So anyway, my fiance calls me and says that her hotel is thrown away two really big steel doors. And I was like, oh, can I have those? And they were like, yeah, so if you want them, you know, come get it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I am on my way to my uh, fiance's job to pick up the steel doors. And then I will bring them back home and throw them out of the bed of my truck. And then I'll go back to what I was doing. I was going to um, uh, start stripping that TV that we just picked up. I was going to start stripping it so I can get it out to the garage and then I was gonna go out to the garage and work on the studio a little bit more see how all of that um, joint compound stuff want to make sure that it's you know dry so all right so we got here and there's there's nothing in in the dumpster and the doors that they were talking about are wood see they're they're made of wood both of them that's those were the two doors that they were talking about and um there's a little bit of metal on them but not what i thought i th i thought that they were talking about steel doors so um nope it was a bus so i appreciate the phone call from them uh holiday inn express and sweets uh it's one of the ways that I make money is I have like a little network of people you know they I, every time I go and pick some up I'll always give them my number and let them know that if there's anything else that they want to throw away let me know especially hotels because when hotels throw away things they throw it away by the numbers like if they're gonna throw away chairs or doors it's usually more than four like it's always a big amount so I mean all right back in the truck we go so I got the TV out and I can't even get it in my room, more or less like in on my table. So I had to put it out here on my picnic table. I mean, it look how big it is. It just eats up. That right there is out of a 40 something inch screen or something like that. Look at the difference. I'm gonna have to take the TV, pick it up, flip it, lay it face down, and then take all the screws out of it and try to handle this thing i don't know Oof. got the speakers and the digitizer out of the tv i finally got the tv flipped over as you can see all the electronics underneath it and there's the screen underneath it but anyway we have to uh get this plastic bezel off so i can get these filters out and um, I'm only going to remove maybe one or two of them. So I finished it. It's done. It's had the screen pulled out. Everything's good to go. It's ready to go. Uh, so then I decided. Uh, 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 drywall. That I was going to finish painting. Or uh, finish sanding and doing all that stuff. And now what I'm going to do is probably do some. I'm going to try painting a corner. I want to see what it looks like. Um, I know I'm a little dirty, but I just finished getting it sanded down and stuff and then wiped it down. What I want to do is I want to try to paint a part of it and just kind of get an idea of what it looks like because I really need to get this done. Once I can get this done, I can worry about every, every other thing. Um, but yeah, and that's the color that we're going to go with guys. That nice, beautiful blue. So I am not a painter. I do not know how to paint. I am learning all of this from scratch. Alright, let the first coat 
be applied. Now this is a this is a, a primer that is going to be LED lights. Uh, it's going to be like uh, two of them will be purple, and then the other two or something like that might be blue. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. One thing at a time. All right. So, what do y'all think? I painted it blue. Now what I gotta do is wait for it to dry and then add another coat to it. And then I'm gonna take a paintbrush and I'm gonna hit some of these places right here in the middle and along the side. Um, what I'm gonna probably gonna have to do is wait for the paint to dry real good, okay? Cause once the paint dries, then what I'll be able to do, oh, I just saw a spot right here that I missed. Anyway, uh, once I get it, once I get it, once it's dry and stuff, I can sweep out all the dust buildup that's in here and we'll be good. So now I'm going to find the paintbrush so I can fix what I'm doing. Damn, it's dark already. Jeez. All right, I need to hurry up so I can finish what I'm done. Go ahead and end the, my vlog series for the day right now. My camera is almost dead. So I'm going to sign off and say thank you so much guys. Hit me a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Make sure you check out some of our other really cool videos. And as always, we'll see you guys next time and y'all be cool. Peace.